our three biggest archery mistakes. We are going to divulge three massive mistakes all three of us have made in our archery journey. And maybe, just maybe one of these tips is something you're doing that you can fix and avoid, and become a better archer and whip your friends' butts. This is gonna haunt you, at least until they got you. Damn, this sport is hard. But that's one of the things I appreciate most about archery. I appreciate that it's hard, the process matters. It's technical, but it's not technical. It's kind of that mid-blend where all this technical stuff matters, but at the end of the day, you gotta zone in and make one shot. These last few years, I have chose to shoot a hinge. Long story short, it was because I was kind of turning into a trigger puncher, which I didn't think I'd ever be at any point in my career. But there I was, I shot my Washington Whitetail 2020 trigger punch style. Wasn't super proud of myself, got the animal, but at that point I made a decision to say, hey, I wanna do this better, longer term. MFJJ helped me a lot with the fundamentals, ground up, how to shoot, that stuff matters. It's super important. Most recently, the thing that's kind of like held me back and helped me out at the same time is learning to shoot this hinge with the top of my hand. The advice I had interpreted before was always pull, 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 pull. And I would always pull, pull, pull. So I would pull this way. And then one thing would lead to another, I'd be shaking and then a shot would break and it just, these guys know, they saw me shake, it wasn't cool. And along the way I learned, hey, I gotta be more active through the top of my hand. I gotta let the bottom of my hand release. My index finger soften and let my top finger pull through. And that for me has been the thing that's really helped me most recently. Shots break faster, bow holds steadier, and it's just been really impactful. It's the most recent thing I've been working through and it's got me pumped because it's got my bow holding as steady as it ever has. And uh, I can just feel that release working in my hand like I've never been able to before. But this ain't all about me. Let's hop over and uh, let's talk to Jake. I love bow hunting. I love getting in close to animals. I love seeing arrow flight. I love being in range and actually looking at the animals, reading the animals, seeing what they're doing and getting the opportunity to send an arrow into an animal and bring some meat home. Um, that being said, archery is a sport that you have to perfect and do the same thing over and over again to be good. I enjoy the challenge and doing the same thing over and over again is hard, whether it's uphill, downhill shots, whether you have a bad grip, your release, fine tuning all those things and getting good at your sport and just dialing in and perfecting it. It's good competition with your friends and you're never gonna be perfect, but we can always get better. Tack previews, I love shooting with Dan and Tim. It's a lot of fun. We all talk we all get into each other's head. Dan has been known to shoot really good at distance. Up close, he's not the best. So I'm hoping there's a lot of up close shots. Um, that being said, Tim and Dan are both good shots. They both know what they're doing um, when it comes in the field. But I'm crossing my fingers that Josh kind of crumbles and I beat Josh. All right, so my tip, guys, is one that uh, took me a while to figure out I was doing even um, until a coach came along and kind of asked me what I was looking at. But when you are looking through your peep, looking through your housing of your site, what are you looking at? You know, for me, many years, it was as soon as the elk came into my shot lane, I'd put the pen right on them and I'd be staring at the pen and I'd let them have it. I'd slap that trigger like a rattlesnake. Several years into my development, I figured out that blurring out the pen and staring at what I actually wanted to hit, not only did two things, it tightened up my groups, but it made me really, I mean, aim small, miss small, right? Now, instead of just blurring the animal and staring at the pin, I'm looking at a specific tuft of hair on that animal and I'm focusing on that and that helps me stay in my lane, stay in my process and execute and get that good shot break, that surprise release. So stop staring at your pin, start staring at what you want to hit, aim small, miss small. Now my bonus tip as promised, this is something that kind of pertains to Total Archer Challenge. And this is something I don't want Jake or Tim to hear, so listen up. Those longer shots, like 40, 50 plus, do not sneak to take a peek. 
Once that shot breaks, it's really easy to just kind of look to see where that arrow is going. I want you to stay in that peep as long as possible. And if you sneak a peek, you'll start hitting low and right or high and right or high and left, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, how you hold the bow. So stay in it and maximize that follow through. You're gonna outshoot your friends just like I'm about to at Total Archery Challenge. Archery tips from a bunch of amateurs. We're not even pros, but we shot with the pros. We stayed at a Holiday Inn. No, for real though. Again, we wanna recap these. Jake didn't really say it, but the biggest thing he's fixed is his grip. He was a classic high wrister and getting back to that flat position has really helped him be more robotic, which leads to more continuity, which leads him to have a better chance in the back half attack finally. And literally just, it's elevated your game. Uh, what was his tip, do you remember? Using the hinge and how he released his hand, so. Me, I would remember he would draw back and he would kind of shake a little bit, which his pin's probably shaking, and then he'd release now. If you watch Tim shoot, he's super steady, and you watch that pinky just slides and surprise release, and he's a lot more accurate. Yeah, your your shot break time has sped up, and your groups have sh like shrunk, and it's kind of annoying, but we're, we're always happy for you, man. Uh, do you remember my tip? Dan was caught in that classic, like, focusing on the pin. If you're into cameras, he was setting his focus on the pin, not the target. He switched to focusing on the target, really helped him out down range. And then I think your bonus tip was something like, don't sneak a peek, don't get caught doing this. I know people do that with animals, it gets them in trouble. Guys, archery is super hard. We love the flight of the arrow and we love hard work. I wanna make this video really impactful and I wanna lean on you guys. So this is the one video I really need your guys' comment below. What's one tip that you have to give our community that you used to do that you don't do anymore that's elevated your game? We appreciate you. Tap the sub. Jake Webb, Tim Connor. I'm Dan Staten. This, we're your elk-shaped team. Catch you on the next one.